gates of the city, good sir knight. For all those that wander the highways alone after nightfall are seldom heard from again. Even the strongest of warriors have disappeared. The streets of Prague are no longer safe after dark, but beyond the city walls all hell walks the night. Hell that disgorges from yonder castle of Viserot. the mines, Crusader. If mere men could kill the Hellspawn, we Knights of St. John would have slain them long ago. We lock these gates as the last rays of the sun die in the mountains. Pass within before dark, or wait without until dawn. I pray for thy safe return. this place in haste, and the fiends have not seen fit to continue such honest labor. Freshly mined earth is laden with the foul stench of death. What mystery lies moldering here? This poor soul died without a wound, save a bit of blood at the throat. Wild dogs? Nay, rats!
reclaim this treasure from the clutches of evil and reconsecrate it to a godly purpose.
My good kinsman Christoph, thy bravery carried the day in the battle of the Moravian Hills. Thy sword brethren crushed the pagan barbarians and now chase their scattered hordes into eastern Hungary. Once the last of the heathens are routed, our garrison shall return to Prague and thou mayst rejoin our ranks. Until then, the tender ministrations of the Holy Sisters shall revive thee if it be God's will that thou outlive thy wound. Thy fellow sword brethren pray for thy swift recovery, for they cannot allow thee to ripe and rot in decadent luxury whilst they sacrifice themselves. Perhaps thou canst make thy sword arm useful to good Archbishop Giza until such time as we return to collect thee. May the tidings of the Lord be upon thee, Sir Cuthbert. The builders of this mockery of a holy cathedral show their wicked faces. Out, blaspheming wretch! Taste the steel of righteousness! I am Aldra, the unliving, and I bid thee welcome to my domain. Although I have found thee an inhospitable and ungrateful guest. God strike thee down, she-devil! Accursed creature! Earth has no room for such as thee! Nay, verily all the earth is all dominion. With every passing day our number swell, we shatter all defenses and corrupt all the holy places. The tombs shall rule all the world, and everyone, mortal and canine alike, will tremble at our coming. Hellspawn, the purity of the holy places protects them from thy evil. Purity can be sullied, and holiness can be defiled. The Masuza of Visalon shall awaken soon. Ye shall defile all that is pure, and leave corruption in his wake. In defilement lies his strength. Purity is sweet meat to him, as thy rich blood is sweet wine to me. Die. 
God hath spat thee out of heaven in ancient times, and now I scourge thee from the earth. Die, and burn far from the sight of God. Sweet redemption of our Lord is forbidden to the likes of thee. Thou hast no home now but to the eternal torments of hell! of St. Jude. Tis an omen. If I redeem so holy a relic from this ungodly tomb, surely the saint shall grant me his favor.
comes there? Ah, the Crusader ends his day in retreat. Back for another rest in the nunnery? All of Prague may rest. I have claimed the head of the Demon Queen. Praise be to Christoph, champion of Prague! I may replace my war-weary armor. The bells of Prague do ring out your victory, Kristoff. The whole city prizes your handiwork. And I prize thine. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Good day to ye, young sir.
the shop of a gypsy witch. Dare I enter such a place? I bid ye welcome and sing your praises for the slaying of Asra the Unliving. Without thy lore, I could not have slain her, so I thank thee for thy wise counsel. But Azra said many things that did shake my soul. I would have benefit of thy lore. Ask thy questions. Know thou of the Zemitsi? Of the thirteen great vampire clans, the fiends of Clan Zemitsi be the most vicious. They come from the dark Carpathian mountains, where ancient evil slumbers. They seek to rule mortals as cattle, and abduct us from the streets at night. They cruelly craft the flesh to fashion monsters, which they call Shlakta. To extend their rule into daylight, they do corrupt mortals with wealth and power and their own demonic blood. When the mortal servants do drink the blood of their masters, they become ghouls that live forever. So long as they drink each day their daily blood. In the oldest ghoul lineages, like the royal premisil family, Children are born as revenants. Mortals, born with vampiric blood coursing in their veins. Know thou of the Methuselah of Visserand? Methuselahs are among the most ancient and powerful of all vampires. Alas, I know nothing of the Methuselah of Visserand. Save that Viserad Castle is the foul heart of the evil Zemitsi vampire clan. But don't you be going there, young one. Even an army of thy sword brethren could not dislodge such evil. What means she by canite? So every mother's child knows of vampires. Very few know they are descended from Cain and raised by the first woman created by God. Do not blaspheme so about Adam and Eve. Ha! Not Adam and Eve. Adam and Lilith. Lilith was Adam's first wife and a spirited woman was she. <laughs> now, Adam wanted Lilith to serve under him. And Lilith spurned such bumpkin courtship, ha, leaving him for the company of angels and devils. So, God did fashion Eve, who was meek and mild. But their children were far from gentle. When Cain slew his brother Abel, God cursed Cain, saying that the food that grew of the earth would no longer sustain him. Only blood, like the blood he spilled from Abe, would slake his thirst. Lilith found the outcast Cain and taught him to harness the powers of heaven and hell. God made Cain the first vampire, and Cain made all the rest by preying on the descendants of Seth. Adam's third son. And so, all vampires are called Cainites, but only by those who know more than the church tells. I cannot pay heed to such strange notions. You will heed me, if you would hurt them. What lore hast thou of these demons? The vampires do prey on mortals, but they do save their real hatred for other vampires. The thirteen great vampire clans are forever at war, clan against clan, elder against children, in a 
fearsome jihad. They do shake the world to its foundations with their hate and twist up the destiny of mortals into their dark tapestry. I thank thee. Take care. Behold, tis the Crusader, the demon slayer who purifies the minds. Raise your cups in his honor. To Christoph. I am newly returned from the silver mines. The evil therein is no more. The splendor of the Lord rains down upon thee, Christoph. I give thee this wrought silver cross for thy labors. I would hear all thou knowest of vampire lords, that I might fight them more wisely. They are evil. That is all thou need knowest. I do not corrupt my soul with knowledge beyond that. I thank thee. Hurrah! Hurrah 
hail for Kristoff! The mines are safe again. I'll hail the crusading hero of Prague. Hurrah! We thank thee for restoring the mines. We finally have new silver to craft and sell. God bless thee, Sir Kristoff. My heart warms to see the good people rejoice so, and yet Osra's words chill me to the core. I fear that evil endures in Prague. Good morrow, my lady. Good morrow, my lord. We give thanks that the mines are restored to godly condition, and we rejoice to see thee in health after such danger. Yet there is danger in health, for I must forego thy tender ministrations. My lord. Yet now I suffer a new affliction, for which thou hast the only cure. I shall serve thee in any way I can, my lord. I desire... I have retrieved a sacred relic, my lady, the amulet of St. Jude. I wouldst give it thee, my lady, for thy devoted care. I take no gifts. The Lord's work is favor enough. It is the dearest of all I have, and thou art the dearest of all I have not. Please keep this for my sake. Oh, sir. I pray that the light of the Lord fill thy body with strength and vigor. <clears throat> uh, good day, Archbishop Giza. Explain thy intentions toward good sister Ineska. I command thee to speak only truth before God. I find her the fairest of all God's creatures and bemoan the cruel fate that hath placed her beyond my reach. In another time and place, we might have found happiness together as man and wife. Such thoughts are evil! Thy concupiscence damns thy soul and dooms, Aneska! I command thee, purge such lusts from thy heart! If not for thy sake, then for hers! Do not tempt her away from her holy orders, thou wicked, selfish boy! She is out of thy star, and is not for the likes of thee. Her place is with me, with us, here in the convent. And thy place is out in the wilderness, striking the fear of God into the hearts of the heathen. If thou art strong enough to entertain such lusts, thou art strong enough to return to thy regiment. Alas, they are too far away. Hmm. Well, the streets of Prague are still host to unclean demons. Perhaps thou shouldst destroy these abominations to expend some of thy hot blood. I must protest. My place is here. The demon queen confessed they sought to defile holy places. Tis my duty to protect these hallowed grounds when next they attack. Thy archbishop shall dictate thy duty. Hunt them in the streets. I obey. But I shall protect the streets in front of the cathedral and convent as well. Hmm. I shall be watching thee, thou immoral lad. <laughs> <laughs> 